Good morning. It is currently 9.15 in the morning. I uh, woke up today at my partner's place. He lives about an hour away from me, so I have spent the morning driving and I resisted the urge to get a little treat for the road um, because I need to save money. So I didn't do that, which was good. Um, I am now home. I have a call with a company that potentially wants to do a partnership at 10 a.m. So I'm going to go in, start getting ready, and it's gonna be like a really easy get ready today. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. Hair's probably gonna be in a hat. Um, those are the vibes today, and I'm rolling with it. Right, Obi? Obi? Hello? Hi. Hello. So I'm gonna be meeting a friend later to be doing some work, which means I'm gonna have a coffee because we're going to a coffee shop. So instead of having a coffee this morning, I'm thinking I should probably have like a decaf tea because caffeine makes me You know? This is where I get ready in the morning. It's currently a bit of a mess, but that is life. This is very much go-to work attire for me because I find that when I wear athletic clothing, like spandex of some sort, I feel more motivated. And then, but I also want to feel comfortable. <laughs> so a big button-up shirt tends to be the go-to for over top. So is it stylish? No. But is it comfortable? Yes. I just set my workspace up, which means I brought my notebook, a water, and I lit a candle in my office. So it's like the vibes are good in there. I now need to do something productive to get me motivated and feeling good, but I also need to eat. And so I have to figure out what my brain is willing to do for food this morning. <laughs> I'm in the mood for eggs. Eggs is a safe food for me, which I know is weird. Like a lot of people do not want eggs as a safe food, but I find it way easier to process how I'm feeling or what I want while I'm doing something else and actively thinking about it. Whereas if I were to just stand here and think, I find it really hard to understand what it is that my brain wants. So, eggs. <laughs> cake flavored tea today. Make of that what you will, but it is delicious. <laughs> I have 10 minutes before my meeting, so generally what I like to do is I'll eat and then I will prep for the meeting. So I'll look into the company a little bit more to understand what you're talking about. I'll look over the briefing that they sent and see if there's any messages from my business manager that need to inform me a little bit more about what we're meeting about. Okay, meeting done. Went a little bit over time and I was hoping to be able to run to Best Buy to grab a laptop charger, but that is not going to happen now. That's fine. Uh, so I just texted my friend and asked if she could bring one. Good meeting overall, feeling all right. Now I am headed to that coffee shop in the next little bit. What am I gonna do before then? I'm going to poop. And I think that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly change though, because this doesn't feel like a coffee shop appropriate outfit. Um, it is, it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna wear something else because this is a little bit cool and it's so fucking cold outside that I need something warmer. Um, so quick change and then go. Okay, just got here. Gonna go in to meet my friend, but I changed into just a sweater that's a little bit more comfortable, more warm. Uh, I was doing a check-in with myself as I was driving here. I'm feeling a little sad. And I don't really 100% know why, but I'm feeling a little sad. <laughs> and now it has expelled my body and I feel great. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I just got home. I will say I love doing those types of sessions with friends or other people online even. Um, it's essentially just body doubling. Like I am being productive because somebody else is. Um, so I worked on some program stuff that I wanted to put out there. I worked on some sponsorship things and in the back end doing some like financial tracking and planning, which was good. All tasks that I just needed to get done and would have been harder to do at home. So it was nice to do with somebody else there and it's good to like catch up with a friend. Now I'm gonna run inside, let Obi outside, give him a lot of love and some kisses. And I've got a call with my business manager manager and then I am going on a program. I am running my unmasking program today. We only have two sessions left and it's been going so well. It's so cool to see how much people have identified within themselves and started to see like little peaks of the, who they really are, um, having never known how to do that. So it's, it's been the most fulfilling thing so far. Gonna run in, get all of that set up and go into my program. Well, into my call with my business manager and then my program. Whew.
I just finished my business manager call. So many notes were taken. I feel like we're going in a really good direction that I'm excited for. I'm feeling amped up. It's 15 minutes to my program. I like to start them at least five minutes early so people can like come in and chat for a bit. So I'm going to very quickly go give my dog some love, <laughs> feed all of my animals, and then jump on my program. Originally, I was thinking that I was gonna go to the gym today, but because I haven't had a ton of time with Obi, I think I might instead just do a really long walk. That's what I'm thinking. We'll see if the vibe changes and if I'm motivated enough to go to the gym and walk Obi as well. Hello, my baby. You want the rope? You want the rope? Here's your rope. It's time to get set up for a program. I've been running this program for a month now and I have to say, out of all the programs I've run, this is definitely my favorite and I'm finding the most impactful. The programs I've run is, are super impactful as well, but this one I'm just hearing like life changing work being done, and that's so cool. Yeah! Just finished my session. It went really, really well. I'm now just checking the Discord to make sure that people are feeling good. I feel tired. I feel a little bit drained after that session. I'm not really sure why. Usually I feel really hyped after a session, but I think today I'm feeling a little bit more drained than usual, which is good that I'm just checking in with myself. So I think instead of going to the gym, I'm gonna go for a really long walk with my pup. So I'm gonna grab my headphones. I'm gonna get into some like really comfortable walking clothes, get my guy, and we're gonna go on a nice long walk. If I have the energy, I really should go to the store today and get groceries because I don't really have a ton. That is the plan. So I try to walk Obi twice a day. So we're gonna do a big walk now. Let's see how he does. Today has been one of those days that is like go, 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 go. No time for anything other than what's on the schedule. And I realized I didn't eat lunch. It's a little after four now. So the last time I ate stairs. Last time I ate was my breakfast. So I need to prioritize doing that the second I get back. Okay, it's now almost dark out. Went for a pretty long, nice walk with Obi, which was great. I was kind of weighing the pros and cons of either ordering food, going to the grocery store, or making do with what I have, which is very, very little. Like even my lowest energy foods I'm out of. So I realized like it's Monday to set me up for the rest of the week. I really should go to the grocery store. I'm going to the grocery store, which means that today has been fast paced, a lot going on. I haven't really had time to like sit down and just relax, which is totally fine. I think that's fine for today because tonight I'm going to be playing Minecraft with my partner. And so I'm going to have a lot of time to just chill and relax. So I did get overstimulated right away. <laughs> I forgot to bring a quarter. I felt awkward asking somebody for a quarter. So I just used a small shopping thing, cart, buggy, which meant I couldn't get us everything that I wanted to get, but that's okay. It's a win and I'm an intuitive eater. And as I was walking around, I was like, I want tacos. I got stuff for tacos. Excited about that. It's a taco night. Woo! I have placed all of my groceries on the counter. I opened the chips because I'm hungry. Now I'm going to cook my meat. I'm not actually gonna film this portion because I, I, I like to watch videos while I make food. I used to use my cooking time as like a solitude practice of being alone. On days like today, where it was go, 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 go. I like being able to turn my brain off for a little bit. And for me, while I'm cooking, I kind of want to do that. I don't really want to sit in silence right now. I kind of want to just turn it off. And there's nothing wrong with it. I've made tacos. I probably won't eat all four, but I've made some. It's only 5.30, I might have some later this evening. Uh, tacos, I've also like tried to tidy up um, so that I didn't have to do it later. Doing it all at once instead of later is a huge help to me. It's kind of become a rule now that while I'm cooking, I'm also cleaning so that by the time I'm done, there's nothing else for me to do. I am going to go now, enjoy and partake the devil's lettuce, which is something I'm trying to manage and not do too much of, but I feel the need to like unwind. And that is when I want to use it. I don't want to be using it as like an avoidance technique um, if I'm feeling big feelings or I'm struggling with something, which is how I used to use it. So I just want to unwind. So I'm going to use it, which is exciting. And then I'm going to go play some Minecraft after I eat. 